in last five years tenure, my effort has been to concentrate on giving a better option for the Amadmi, for the common man, and we worked as a focus on the benefits to the Amadmi in all the fields, whether it is health, education. But specific achievements. That See, in the education sector, I'll just tell you, we introduced lots of schemes. First major scheme was laptops to all the students in the 11th standard. We launched this scheme wherein any student qualifying for IIT, IIM or any central government uh, colleges, we bear their tuition fees, we bear their hostel fees. This has helped not only the uh, poor class, this has also helped the middle class. Because today what happens, if husband and wife are working and their son gets qualified for IIT, IIM, the amount of fees they have to pay in IIT, IIM is exorbitant. And that is why we thought that we, sh this sh we should help those students who qualify for national level uh, examinations and get through for IIT, IIM, NIT and all like that. This has given tremendous impact in the field of education. Plus, we launched other schemes like we have interest free uh, loan scheme where anybody can apply for a loan, get the loan and repay it after he gets graduated or he gets completes his education. We have lots of schemes. For example, we introduced universal medical scheme. That means we, we require people that anybody who gets ill, who has to be operated for something. Now so this boy came, he has some shoulder pain. Tomorrow doctor tells him to admit, we have to be operated. He will incur an expenditure of 25,000. Now, we don't have any scheme which covers this type of health treatments. Supposing you are to be operated for some uh, tonsils, you are to be operated from eye. Now, here what happens, we say that you go to the government hospital and get operated because there it is free. So, we have launched a universal mediclaim scheme, Swarna Jayanti Bhima Yojana, we call it, on the eve of, uh, on the days of Golden Jubilee year of, of liberation, wherein every citizen in the end, we have not distinguish and we said family members of five will be entitled to take benefit of the scheme. So we make five cards to them and we give them card which will be acceptable in all the government hospitals and some of the private hospitals who have opted. See as far as family members are concerned, we had some of the members who were already MLS. They were MLA, Mr. Pratap Singh Rani, Vishwajit Rani, were members of the legislative assembly. Jatji Lalema, Jogi Malema were also members of the legislative assembly. I believe in democracy, we say that a person must have a capacity to get elected. If somebody is doing a social work, somebody is popular in that constituency, somebody has a winning chance in that constituency and people want him uh, to contest the election, just because he is somebody's son or somebody's daughter, I feel that ticket should not be denied to him. There are no reports which says that illegal mining going on in Goa. Wherever illegal mining has been brought to the notice of the government, we have cracked down. There are many cases where people have been punished, cases have been filed, machineries have been seized and even uh, penalties to the tune of 1.80 crores and all have been raised under the provisions of law. During the last 10 years, not a single mining lease or even a prospecting license has been given by the government of Goa.